What's up, my good peoples? You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all taking care of y'all separate day. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and call me, baby. And smash that dough bell for me, baby. You heard me. And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on the note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. And I'm going to play a little slide catch up at the end, baby. Let's go. Saturday, uh, during the grand opening of a beauty store, another person was injured. Police are still trying to find the shooter. Cronford Sarah Stinson has that story. Family and friends outside Glamour Beauty Supply in Oakland Sunday, many in tears as they paid tribute to local female rapper and entrepreneur Tanda God. They confirmed to Cron 4 she was shot and killed at a grand opening event for the beauty store Saturday. Tan posted on Instagram just before the shooting. Here, I got granny in a cut, no way with it. She also promoted the event a week before, saying she would be at Glamour Beauty for a meet and greet. Shots rang out at the strip mall on 40th Street and Telegraph Avenue around 5 p.m. People ran into this donut shop to take cover. I heard some shooting. I thought it was part of like their music. Or A man who works there who does not want to be identified described the chaotic scene. I just saw like two or three people start running into my store and like, you know, they're shooting, they're shooting. And people started pulling out of the parking lot and people were just running around. So, and as soon as I stepped outside, the cops were pretty much already here. Oakland police say when they arrived, paramedics found one gunshot victim who died at the hospital. Another gunshot victim arrived at a nearby hospital sometime later. Police say that person is expected to be okay. They're still working to identify the shooter. No arrests have been made. A man who works at a Korean restaurant nearby witnessed the shooting. Just this guy with the hoodie came by and started shooting. And that was it. And he just, just ran away. And the, the police came. Bay Area rapper and philanthropist Mr. Fab posted about the shooting, saying he was booked to be at the same event, but, quote, God had different plans. He also posted, saying he would always remember Tan as a hustling go-getter with a world of ambition, drive, and courage. I'm Sarah Stinson. But, you know what I'm saying? But for her to be mocking that man and putting a blunt with his head smoking on his head but it's like a like a cigarette smoke blunt or something i seen some type of little picture album cover or something on somebody youtube you know what i'm saying but other than that that man it's like you know what i'm saying i don't know why these the people's the female the ones that's doing i ain't gonna say these people the ones that's doing to be marking the people that who they zipped up you gotta understand what goes around comes around I don't care if nobody say I don't care if you're a male or you're a female or whatever, you feel me? You can't expect that you gonna live for the rest of your life if you marking somebody that you zipped up. You feel me? Cause first of all, right? You feel what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I uh I remember I think I remember she claimed that the police say that it was self defense or something, but he was abusive. But how you gonna Talk about somebody, and then you're gonna smash them that what you had done to them. You actually think their family members not gonna really come see you one day? You feel me? Not even most that, right? You feel me? Now, uh, she wasn't gonna make it to heaven no way, cause you know why? The Bible says she'll not kill. But you gotta understand, God said, God said he he forgive. But in that Ten Commandment, he God say you kill, you will not make it in His kingdom. Of course, he gonna. You know what I'm saying? Forgive you and everything, but you still not going to make it in his kingdom. You got to understand, if you still got going on with in the worldly way, and you want to still spaz like you're a dude, you want to make raps on by dissing somebody else that you had zipped up, you think they family member ain't going to have no type of say-so? You think you ain't struck in their nerve? You think you ain't hurting their feelings? Make it make sense, young people. You got to understand this here. The minute you get zipped up, right, I'm going to see how much, how long people love you, how long people going to accept, you know what I'm saying, for the rest of their life that you still here standing by their side and they know you ain't. They know you taking the dirt nap with the maggots. You feel me? You can't be marking people, man. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all young people, man, y'all just don't get life. Y'all think y'all do? 
And some of y'all hard head. You don't like listen to no adults. That's why some of y'all be dead. Are, are, are behind that cage. Doing big number. Doing eyeballs. You hear me? So y'all got to stop all that craziness, man. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm going to tell you something. You got one life to live, right? Right? You got one chance to get to God. You feel me? You all, I ain't going to include the devil in it because you know why? The devil is the understanding of zero. You feel me? He already know where you're coming. Because how you spit now, what you doing in the streets, what you doing out here in this world. That's why God say live above the world. Don't live for the world. He said live above the world. But y'all young people think y'all know more. And you got some of the older people think they know more. You feel me? But at the same time, that that Bible gonna teach you the knowledge of the ways of God. It ain't gonna keep you like you think you know too much or whatever. No. The respect you let down yourself when you respect yourself when you think your dude that you can make raps on by who you had zipped up and now you smoking them on a pack. You feel me? Your demise brought you your own death wish. You wish that because you was hunting and taunting. This man that you did because you figured you trying to come up. And you figured everybody doing this little talking about dead people, you know what I'm saying? Who they don't zip up. So you figure you're going to be a copycat. Just like I seen a show and she said she was a follower. You know what I'm saying? And you still is that follower. That she still was that follower that leader. Because how you going to make a rap song? So that to me, when you were sitting on this platform that she was talking about, you was a follower. You feel what I'm saying? I might just throw that flip. Uh, uh, platform up there, y'all. If I do, it's gonna be at the very first end. I mean, not not the end, not the end. It's gonna be while the news showing it. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know how I'm gonna put it up there. You feel me? But if I don't, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But she was on this platform. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? Do she get what she deserve? I don't know. That's between her and God and, and the enemy and the devil, man. You feel me? She brought that to herself, man. Then you over the subluted sub them. Then you gonna put your business out there. The last time everybody kept putting their business, their location, where they can get their business cracking, right? Then to be the main ones get zipped up. Then be the main one get zipped up. You know what I'm saying? Why taunt somebody know you finna get a business almost in the hood and knowing that you ain't rich enough to have hired no bodyguard? Cause if you had a bodyguard. You would never got zipped up. So all that paper you was doing, all that hustling you were doing, of course you were hustling to get you a security alarm. You feel me? I can respect that. But other than that, though, you did something out of ordinary. And once you do something out of ordinary, you got to one day, you going to reap what you sow. You feel me? She should have been repenting and asked God for forgiveness, for shooting and doing harm in that man. But to me, if she was that young dating that man, why her parents lie her to date a guy that's, you know what I'm saying, older than her? I don't get it so half of the time. It's the parents' fault. You feel what I'm saying? And some kids think they grown when they get out in their real world, go dating a man half their age. They think they know about life, but you don't know about life until you get to the, till you get round and your hands be on the wrong type of dude, man, that you think that. Got that real love, ear feeling about you, and he don't have that ear feeling about you at all. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So she brought that on herself, man. You know what I'm saying? You just have to be careful. You know what I'm saying? And that's for real, my good people. So on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying, man? That's the end. I'm going to scratch that. That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, comment, baby. Smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? Keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. You know, to my, I'm gone. Oh, what's up with me? Like, so y'all know what's up and y'all like be playing in my face. But that's usually how it is. Like right. they people playing your face first till you go take over. So or till somebody know you across the world. And then they be like, oh, I've been for a long time. No see. <laughs> that was um, definitely a follower. Um i seen the world as a as 90 percent of the world right now and like dead nigga like you're dead like dead that's dead